Good morning, everybody. My name is Chip. I'm with Spraymaster Technologies. This is our second year at StorePoint, and we're excited to be here. If you saw my presentation last year, uh, I'm excited because we actually have new equipment that I'm anxious to show you. And if you haven't seen our, my presentation before, let me tell you who we are. Uh, Spraymaster Technologies, we are a central cleaning company manufacturer. We build central cleaning vacuum systems and central cleaning pressure washer systems. Uh, where we put a main pump in the mechanical room or the a mop sink area. And uh, from there we pipe out stainless steel tubing out to remote stations where cleaning is done. Um, we have accessories to speed this cleaning even more. And I'm anxious to show you about that. Uh, a recent Zagat's poll listed what the number one customer irritant was when coming to restaurants. And it wasn't problems with the food or the speed at which they were served or customer service issues. Um, the number one customer irritant was cleanliness and, and uh, most of that in restrooms. So I know it's cleaning, uh, I know cleaning is important to you, it's just I don't think that your employees have the right tools to clean correctly and the ones that they do have are, are archaic. Uh, we're trying to eliminate negative influences for your customers. Any meal can look great like this but compare it to a dirty drive through window like that and it's a negative impact, negative influence on the food that you serve. So we're trying to eliminate those inside and outside your restaurants. So I'm going to talk about outside cleaning first and then I'm going to talk about inside cleaning and safety and then I'll wrap it up with your return on investment when it comes to investing into an SMT system. Outside cleaning, we have several areas that need to be cleaned. Um, drive through areas, uh, sidewalks, uh, entryway areas and backdoor areas, um, trash areas, and patios. I love having lunch on a patio, but nobody likes the, the baked on ketchup stains and the spills that are out there, and they're hard to clean. So what do you do to eliminate those now? Well, your choices have been hiring an uh, outside contractor to come in and clean using a pressure washing system. It works. Pressure washing works. That's why you hired them to do it. Um, using your own employees, giving them the tools of a garden hose and a scrub brush, uh, or going out and buying a pressure washer at like Home Depot. Again, pressure washing works, that's why you invest in one of those. But let's break those down a little bit more. When hiring an outside contractor, first thing you'll notice, it's very uh, cumbersome for your clientele to come in and park. Large areas of the lot are sectioned off. Um, it's noisy. Sometimes there's a, a trailer mounted unit uh, while they're cleaning. It's, um, it's cumbersome. It's a big setup. It's a big ordeal. Um, it's very expensive. We found that it's actually about $500 each time you hire somebody to come in and clean your lot. That's a big ticket. That's $6,000 a year. And they could be cleaning great. Pressure washing works. That's why you hired them. But as soon as they leave, this guy comes through your drive through area and dumps out his soda on your drive through Now that stain is going to be there until you spend another $500 to get those guys back. And I know you're not going to do that the same day. And if you have a drive through area, you know this happens every day all the time. If you give your employees the tool of a garden hose and a scrub brush, um, it's a waste of water. That's 8 to 10 gallons of water per minute without any pressure to do its job. So nothing's really getting done. It's not effective. So they're outside feeling good and exercising on your dollar. Not a good investment. Portable units, Home Depot items, uh, I call these disposables. These are made for home use. They're not made to be used day in, day out. So when they break after three months, there's no service after the sale, so you throw them away. Not a good investment. Storage is a problem. You've got to find a place to keep this thing, and you have to store the gas. Uh, theft is an issue. They are on wheels. They will get thrown in the back of a pickup and driven off, or maybe your store manager's got it at his house cleaning his deck. But the most important thing about portables is they are cumbersome. Uh, it's an easy 15-minute process just to start cleaning. You have to go get the unit. You have to bring it to where you're cleaning. You have to hook it up to the water. You have to hook it up to uh, electricity if it's an electric unit. 
Um, you have to fill it full of gas if it's a gas unit. You have to um, spread out the chemicals. It takes a lot of time just to begin cleaning. So with a SMT system, it's a true commercial quality system. It's made to be used day in, day out, all day long. In some of our other industries that we serve, they actually are. You may say, Chip, that's really overbuilt. I don't need something like that. And I say, yeah, you do. It's built to last a long time. It's an investment in equipment to last a long time. We do have service, nationwide service, um, uh, that's available 24-hour tech support. From this main unit, we pipe out stainless steel tubing out to these remote stations that look like this. They can be key switch operated, um, touchpad control, they can be recessed into the building, they can be surface mounted, depending on your needs inside and outside of the, the, the building. So this is how long it takes to actually set up and start cleaning with an SMT system. An employee uses a portable hose reel and gun holster that's a one-handed operation. They hook it to the remote station, turn the key or touch the button, and they start cleaning. That's it. It's that easy. So what does that give you? That gives you a spot cleaning approach. You can take care of cleaning needs whenever you want to. One of our best clients is a convenience store chain and they have, uh, they're nationwide and they have one of our systems in every one of their facilities. They've adopted this spot cleaning approach where they section off their lot and they do section one on Monday and section two on Tuesday and so forth. Staying on top of their cleaning needs, stains don't have time to set in. And I get this question a lot. Yeah, Chip, but does it, does it pick up gum? Yeah, it takes care of gum if you go out there and get it done before it has time to sit and bake in the sun and become part of the concrete. So, 15 minutes a day, that's $700 a year in labor. Compare that to spending $6,000 a year if you hired a guy to come in and clean once a month. So no setup time, it's always ready to use. So your employees can quickly hook up and clean that drive through area. Or they can clean your drive through uh, signage, the stripes, um, entryways. Here's a picture of uh, that same type of cup dump. It, uh, whoops, excuse me there. Several of them in this drive through area. Now, we have accessories that speed cleaning even more. This is a Hummer Jet Senior. It has two nozzles. It spins at 2,000, sorry, 1,000 RPM, 2,000 PSI. That gives me a 20 inch cleaning circle everywhere I go. So now I can knock out stains like that. Better yet, I can clean the whole drive through in 15 minutes or less. That could be your section two. On Tuesday, you get the idea. The back door area. Super effective in cleaning that, that black stain. That black stain is actually soap residue caused from your employees walking on the soap residue left on your inside floor. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. But the SMT Hummer Jet Senior can be used without sectioning off large areas of your lot. You can clean right next to cars because there's no over, uh, overspray. So you can see it's very effective. That's outside cleaning in a nutshell with an SMT. It's, it's fast, effective, available, and commercial quality. Now let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about inside cleaning. Inside cleaning. This is staff, and that's, that's the staff. This is Nora. Isn't that amazing looking? That's amazing, it looks like an eye. Uh, this is MRSA, I know y'all are familiar with this. Multiplying as they took this picture. And this one's my favorite. That one, that's E. coli. Isn't that amazing? It looks alien, it's, it's, it's something out of this world. All right, Chip, why are you talking about this? Well, microorganisms are what causes us to be sick. Microorganisms are what an inspector will come in and look for when they're uh, there to test your facility for cleanliness. Last year, I introduced you to a guy named Dr. Charles Gerba, and I used some of his quotes. Uh, this year, I'm going to show you a quick clip uh, about what he says when thinking about cleaning restaurants. I mean, I, I think 
People in this industry don't realize that they're really, in a way, in the healthcare industry. It's particularly when it comes to public restrooms, we know that they are involved in the transmission uh, of infectious diseases like hepatitis A, Shigella, Salmonella. It's been shown epidemiologically you can transmit disease by public facilities. So if we want to reduce illness and really and save lives too, people do die from these types of infections. Uh, it, it does become important to main proper, maintain proper hygiene in these facilities. Okay, I know that's really heavy. He's talking about saving lives. Um, you're saying, Chip, I, I really just want a clean floor. All right, I understand that. What I'm telling you is you can have a very clean floor that uh, doesn't just look clean, is clean, and take care of these microorganisms as, as well, but not doing it this way. Let me tell you what, um, I'll let Dr. Gerber tell you what he thinks when it comes to mopping floors. I think most people don't realize, you, you know, the, the cleaning tools you're using contain millions of uh, bacteria, particularly mops and dishcloths, and they, they, they're giving uh, germs a free ride around your facility. Uh, and that's why it, it's really important to recognize this, that you can actually make things worse with these, what you perceive as a cleaning tool it, it is actually a, a germ transfer uh, facility for them, you know, and, they, and a good place to eat and live too. We've actually found in, in several of our studies that, you know, uh, sponges and, and rags used to clean surfaces end up being microbial compost heaps because bacteria can grow to large numbers of those. And we found both in the home and in restaurants, you're often just laying down a thin layer of E. coli when you're wiping a surface without really realizing it. Yeah, wiping around E. coli, that's not what we're after. We're after getting a clean floor, clean floor that uh, is more than just looks clean, actually is clean. I know, what, uh, I know that most of you know what this is. This is an ATP meter. Every living organism has an ATP reading. This is what your inspectors use when they come and test your facility. Um, a floor was completely cleaned, having an ATP meter, uh, uh, an ATP reading of 25. Using a grape to simulate contamination, it registered at 7,267 ATP. Mopping did bring it down quite a bit, 1,479. But more importantly, the, all the area around the contamination, in fact the whole floor, had an increase of 2,700 percent. So we had a lot of cross-contamination. The contamination was spread all over the floor. That's using a mop. It doesn't work. Using an SMT system, this is the VacMaster 1. High pressure cleaning system. Uh, same idea as the, the Hummerjet Senior, we're using the Hummerjet Junior, step down pressure. Um, pressure washing, getting the dirt, the grease, the bacteria out of the pores of the floor. Scrubbing it all up using the pressure and vacuuming up at the same time, leaving the floor virtually dry. And it gets underneath equipment, it gets beside equipment, it gets places where a mop doesn't go. Very effective way of cleaning. Um, Backmaster 2. This is a low flow, low volume, low pressure, using a, an attachment that has a scrub brush on the back and a squeegee on the front. What that allows us to do is clean facilities like this very quickly, very easily, leaving the floor virtually dry. And yeah, it too gets underneath equipment and around equipment and underneath where mops do not go using a low flow, low pressure and leaving the floor virtually dry. And I want to mention that this is a true commercial quality system. This is made to, to vacuum up large material, french fries and uh, peanut shells and even cloth napkins, so be careful. But it's made to be used that way and it leaves the floor dry. We're, we're actually scrubbing, rinsing, vacuuming, all at the same time. Eliminating water on the floor, eliminating soap residue, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that as well. It all goes back to a central vacuum system that's directly uh, put right into the sewer system. Uh, your large debris is collected into a screen and you can just take it out, dump it, put it right back in. All right, so it's very easy to use. What does that do? Well, same test was performed. Um, 
ATP reading of 7,800. Mopping brought it down to 1,479 with an ATP reading of 27. I'm sorry, cleaning that way brought it down to 27. More importantly, all the floor around that area had an ATP reading of 20. So there was no cross-contamination. The floor was actually clean. It didn't just look clean. It was clean. All right. It cleans bathrooms. You can clean anywhere. Wherever you put a remote station, you can clean inside the bathrooms. You can clean by your entryways. Um, picks up large debris. Much more effective way of cleaning a bathroom than a mop. And it works on carpet as well. Works on carpet really great. You can use this uh, to clean carpet stains. Entryways, back door areas. Let me get it in, back into soap. I told you I was going to talk about soap residue. Um, the National Safety Council reports that most slip accidents in restaurants are caused by improper cleaning methods. They recommend that floors be only cleaned with clean water only, no soap, because soap residue is causing the slips and falls from your, uh, your employees. Now, I appreciate what they're trying to do. They're trying to make a safe environment for your employee. They're trying to help eliminate slips and falls, but soap has a purpose. It, you need it to do the job you want it to do. We just need to get it off the floor. So their focus is in the, on the wrong spot. One out of every three of your employees is going to have a slip and fall each year. Now most, most go unreported, especially with teenagers. But an average slip and fall injury will cost you $28,000. That means you have to generate $250,000 to make up for that one slip and fall. Now with Workers' compensation and insurance rates rising at the rate of 30% a year the last few years. We do need to focus in on getting rid of that soap residue. Okay, let's talk about your return on investment. Back to outside cleaning. An outside cleaning system for an SMT will cost you about $7,000. All right, that's a big ticket. I understand. That's a, that's a big PO to write. But if you're using an outside contractor to come in once a month, you're already paying that. You just don't have the availability to spot clean every day. And with an SMT system, you have that availability. It's going to pay for itself, comparing it to the outside contractor, in somewhere between 12 and 15 months. But you can spot clean now every day, taking care of spills and uh, stains as they, as they happen. Now with a inside cleaning system, let's look at the low pressure vac system. This is going to cost you about $6,000. Again, big ticket item, I understand. But reducing labor, because it's much faster than mopping, um, reducing chemical use, just those two will pay for itself in 12 to 15 months. Eliminate one slip and fall, you've paid for it many times over. And it will reduce slips and falls. It will get rid of your soap residue and have an actual clean floor. And that's really what you got to ask yourself when calculating an ROI. What's my return on investment? Well, if the goal isn't being done, you don't have a return on investment. You have an expenditure. If you're, if you're mopping the floor, you're paying labor time with no return on investment. Purely an expenditure. And that's what SMT is about. That's this what this is all about is reducing labor uh, while meeting the goals of your cleaning needs outside the facility and inside the facility. There's a true return on investment when you invest in an SMT system. And it's a fast return on investment. Now all of you have different cleaning needs. Uh, all your restaurants are different from all the other ones. And I'd like to talk to you individually about how to meet those needs because we have different protocols and different attachments and different ways to clean. So if you get a chance this weekend, please meet with me. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about helping you out with your clean needs. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much.